we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. I wanna leave my footprints on the sands of time. Know there was something that meant something that I left behind. When I leave this world, I'll leave no regrets. Leave something to remember so they won't forget I was here. Everything that I wanted and it was more than I thought it would be I will leave my mark so everyone will know I was here I want to say I left each day until one of the world's leading investigative reporters and my dear friend of Fox College, Geraldo Rivera, one of the most respected journalists in America, made a stunning revelation days ago about his views on the events of 9 11. Is this healthy skepticism, or has he gone too far? The man himself is here to explain it all. One and the only Geraldo Rivera will be I lost my son, my own son, on September 11th, 2000. Most people don't know that the very town of Bell on September 11th, World Trade Center 7, a 47 story skyscraper, was not hit by a plane. The official explanation is that the fire was a tremendous incident. Over 1,000 people are architects and engineers that looked into the evidence and believe there is more to the story. I was here. yourself a Catholic, but what happens when you worship Moloch at the Bohemian Grove? New York Post says uh, that male prostitutes are shipped into the Bohemian Grove. Can you tell us what happened? You actually believe all this junk. Never bore before seen. This is Big Brother. For well, we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on public means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine 
that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissent is a silent, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed. No secret is revealed. A lot of people think that the Federal Reserve is already part of the government. They're not. It's controlled by cliques of unelected, unaccountable bankers meeting in secret. Most of these people have never listened to the formality of a Senate hearing or a Senate confirmation. They claim that they're part of the U.S. government. They masquerade as if they're part of the U.S. government. But in reality, this is a purely private operation. Jackals, Bermudas, Raptors, all of them loyal. Nothing to do with them. The person that spoke was the Indian man, and what he said was, uh, this man needs to board the plane, but he doesn't have a passport. And the ticket agent responded, well, if he doesn't have a passport, he can't get on the plane, to which the Indian man responded back, uh, he's from Sudan, we do this all the time. And the ticket agent said, well, then you'll have to go and talk to my manager, and she directed them down a the hallway. Uh, and, and that was the last time that I saw the Indian man mm -hmm. and the black man I didn't see again until he tried to blow up our plane. And, and, then, was later. and when did you put two and two together and realize that this, in fact... My name is Barack Obama. I'm not the reporting I'm not the We believe probable cause exists indicating that forgery and fraud may have been committed. Not only was President Obama's long and full inertia to the hill, nor is it there the evidence suggests that another fraud may have been committed regarding his selected service. At the very least, I can tell you this, based on all of the evidence presented and investigated, I cannot, in good faith, report to you these documents are authentic. Even today, we have the Secretary of Defense going before the committee and they say, well, where do you get this authority uh, to go to war? Oh, I get it from the United Nations and NATO. Satanist to represent the devil, uh, or as Satanist Alistair Crowley once himself described it, quote, this serpent, Satan, he is the devil of the book of Thoth, and his emblem is Baphomet, uh, and also as historical depictions show, uh, Baphomet was worshipped by the Freemason secret society, uh, which of course at its highest level swears an oath to Lucifer, so this is an ancient pagan deity uh, which is used by Luciferians and occultists to symbolize the devil. Madonna is dressed up as Satan during this performance. 
Um, so you've got her dressed up as a demon, prancing around on a stage embedded with an all-seeing guy with pyramids in the background. And then at the end, she's raised up on this pedestal while all the happy, clappy Christian gospel singers worship her. Right at the end, the words, world peace, appear on the stage. Um, and then she's bowing down to the dark priest at the end and worshipping him. So, I mean, what's the message that, you know, worshipping Satan is the only way the Illuminati will allow us to have world peace? So everyone will know I was here I wanna say I lived each day until I die And know that I am something in somebody's life The hearts I have touched will be the proof that I are a God-fearing, good people, ruled by Satan-worshipping gangsters, okay? The Israeli flag should have been the menorah. Instead, you have a satanic symbol, okay? That is a satanic symbol of your flag. That is not a Jewish symbol. Why is the menorah on the Israeli flag? I'll tell you why. Because the Rothschild family they don't worship Yahweh. They're not real Jews. Their real name is Bauer. They're using you. You're using you. You're making fools of yourself by going along with the same plan. Hurry up and arrest those criminals who have taken over the leadership of your society. It's not about tolerance. It's not about freedom. They want to hurt people. They want to destroy innocents. Everything I read about the devil, that's them. Yeah. So even if the devil doesn't exist, he's so atheist or whatever, it's manifesting through these people. Yes, and when the good of God struck Tiber for Satan, it was Lucifer. Lucifer was said to be the light bearer. And then an even better struck Tiber for Lucifer is Prometheus. And I was really surprised that the Lord had committed to what he has performed out there. He just recently come out with a film for Prometheus. We've seen a lot of Prometheus tonight. Because that's the good front for Lucifer. He's the one that's inside the universe. That he gives the knowledge to the rich. Yeah. He's defying the gods. But the devil always seeks to actually control and dumb down. So explain that riddle of the Bible that, that, that Lucifer wants to give us. Well, he really does. As you know, uh, he pays a counterfeit. Uh, he pays a counterfeit. Everything's a fraud. It's a twisted knowledge. Exactly. Uh, you know, uh, like you were saying earlier on your on your show, what's right is is now seen as wrong, and what was wrong is now right. Everything's upside down. So all this great wisdom and knowledge that they have is really dumb. You know. The, the, the well, yeah, because man had the perfect knowledge of being with the Creator and in God's creation and being good and pure. The knowledge of good and evil was evil hadn't even entered the equation, so the twisted knowledge or the virus was exactly. injected. That's, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we're uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, these people are not bringing us enlightenment, they're, they're bringing destruction. And they promise freedom, but they're actually giving slavery. It's so, so what's happened? The Illuminati has infiltrated our intelligence community. It's not only infiltrated the intelligence community, it's infiltrated every level of society. It's not just the Illuminati by itself, it's Illuminati Day, Satanic Cult. The Satanic Cult uh, problem in this country is serious, and it dovetails across the board with the drugs, pornography, prostitution, and uh, other nefarious activities. It should be a time now we have the possibility to have the richest possible boom in the history of civilization. 
We have the technology to turn the deserts green. We can refill the oceans with fish. We can have world peace. And all that's blocking us is a few dozen old men. Please, everybody, arrest them. What is wrong with you people? We can have world peace. We can have all these good things. We're just being blocked by a tiny group of old men who worship Satan. That's a fact. Please. I wanna say I lived each day until I died And know that I am something in somebody's life The hard time